Hey there, unicorns, we're back. We're doing some more uh, throwing to targets. It's gonna be a different throw, but you can see I set up my target course and I added some things over here. I've got a tire standing up. I added a bowling pin, a water bottle or an old two or three liter bottle of uh, some kind of uh, soft drink that you have that's empty might work for that as well at your house. But I want you to notice that everything it, there's nothing laying flat on the ground. Last time we had a hula hoop flat on the ground. That's going to go away for the throw we're doing. You need things that are up off of the ground. Uh, stuff that can fall over is going to be fun today. Stuff that is, you can still have some things that are low, but we're kind of aiming more mid to high with the throw we're going to be doing today. So a lot of the things from your setup from last time will work for you today. This was underhand throwing. I am holding the object in my favorite hand. I'm going to bring my arm back. And at the same time, I step with my opposite foot to underhand throw the object. My hand is under my shoulder, and that's why we call that underhand. All right, so today's throw that we're doing is going to be overhand because my hand is gonna be over my shoulder not underneath, so we call it overhand throwing. Now, when you overhand throw, you don't face your target. Your body's gonna turn sideways with your throwing arm going back. So when you look at me, the camera is not gonna be the target for this one. I want you to see what I look like from the side, so my target is going to be over there. You see my target set up? You will not see the target while I'm demonstrating because we're not worried about the target. We're, we're focusing on making our body move the right way and we'll work on hitting the targets later. All right, so my target is over there. I'm pointing to my target. So we stand sideways to our target. First thing I'm gonna do is I am gonna pick up my throwing object and then I am going to have my throwing arm behind me as I turn sideways. So your favorite hand, your dominant hand is going to be behind you. You're going to stand sideways and look over your shoulder and point to your target. Then you're going to bring your throwing arm back. So I am making the letter T. I am pointing with my non-dominant hand. I am holding the object with my dominant one and then I'm going to start bringing my object over past my ear. At the same time I'm doing that, I am gonna take a step, twist my body, reach my arm straight, and follow through with my other foot to throw towards the object. It's important, I know it's kinda of hard to hear me on these videos, but it's important that you see what's going on at the same time. Again, in slow motion, step, twist, Row, and then step with my favorite foot after. There are two steps in the overhand throw. It's not just one. Just like when we did underhand, you step with your opposite foot first. As you twist, you step around with your other foot. Now I'm gonna do an actual throw. Letter T, pointing, holding. Step, twist, throw. As you're noticing, there's a lot more speed and a lot more power. This is how we're going to get distance. It's how we're gonna get speed, is with our overhand throw. Point, hold, letter T, step, twist, throw. One more, sideways, point, hold, letter T, Step, twist, throw, as you follow around. For my older kids, that pointing thing and the thing we hold, that may not be really for third, fourth, and fifth. I want you to go back to that video I shared on the mature throwing pattern, the slow motion. Um, look up baseball players. Look at what a pitcher is doing in baseball. That is that mature throwing pattern, uh, perfect examples of it. In that, in that video or in others. If you watch World Series highlights, watch what the pitcher is doing, and that's what we're working towards. Um, your targets today, because you've got more power, 
because you've got more speed, you're gonna be um, coming a lot further back from your target. Even our little kids, you can start working on moving back as you find that you're hitting those targets or you're throwing over them. Scoot yourself back, work on getting more power on the object you're throwing. Our younger kids are probably using sock balls and things like that that are like bean bags. For older kids, there's a lot of things that you can add in. You might choose to start using something like a football if you've got this down. You could choose, like we talked about, a baseball, like a baseball pitcher does. It's up to you, as long as you're working on the pattern, remember, don't let the things we talked about with your body, that step, twist, follow through with the second step, don't let those things break down. Make sure, as you're trying to hit targets, that that is what you're using so that we build on the skill and we can get increasing amounts of distance and accuracy. I hope you all enjoy working on this uh, today. Have a great day, and I will see you around.